Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 6 of integration series. Now in today's lecture, I'm going to take a previous KVPY question. This question was asked in the year 2011. Now all of you thinking that limit is given here. So those who are wondering, the question is from definite integration as a sum of limit given. So we have to evaluate this. So feel free to pause the video and try this question. In the next slide, I'm going to solve this. Now this question is from a famous topic. The name of the topic is definite integration as a sum of limit. Now what we're going to do here is the first step is we're going to write the limit, limit and standing towards infinity in a simplified form that is in the summation form. So summation of we have to generalize the rth term here. See first, second and nth term are given. So let's generalize the rth term. So we'll get this as root over 4n square as you can see 4n square, 4n square is common everywhere and minus times something we need to generalize. See for the first term it's 1, for the second term it's 4. And for the nth term, it's n square. Then that means for the rth term, it will be r square. Easily we can generalize. And here r is varying from 1 to n. As you can see, first term is 1. And for the nth term, it's n square. Now, in this type, first thing we, which we're going to do here is, we're going to convert the summation into integration. Now, the second thing is, we have to convert r by n as x and 1 by n as d of x here. Now, one more thing is how we're going to calculate the lower and upper limit of integration. So to calculate that, we're going to take the lower limit of summation and divide by n limit and n is tending towards infinity. Similarly, we're going to take for upper limit of summation for upper limit of integration. We're going to divide by n and limit n is tending towards infinity. Now, there is a separate video on this type of question I made previously. I'm, I'll give you the link here. You can check that question. So first thing is I need r by n here. So from the root over, I'm going to take n outside. It will come as mod of n. Since n is positive, mod of n will open with n. So I can write this as limit n is tending towards infinity. Now if I take r n outside here, n square, it will come as 1 by n. Since, since n is not dependent on the summation, I can take 1 by n outside. And summation r is varying from 1, bo, 1 to n. And 1 upon we'll get this as root over 4 minus r by n whole square. Here. Now I'm going to convert this form into integration form. So I'm going to write summation as integration here. Lower limit is, I'm going to write here, the lower limit is divide r is equal to 1 by n and take limit n is tending towards infinity. So we'll get 0 here. Take the upper limit and divide by n. So we'll get this as 1. Now 1 by n I'm going to convert at d of x and r by n I'm going to convert it as x as you can see here. So we'll get this as 1 upon root over 4 minus x square and 1 by n outside we have to convert this as d of x here. Now I'm going to integrate this. Now I can see this is a very common form. So this is nothing but sin inverse of x by 2 as you can see and the lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1. So when you put the upper limit, you will get this as sine inverse of half. Sine inverse of half is pi by 6 here. And sine inverse of 0 will be 0. So I think pi by 6 is our final answer. And that's